So you want to make goose jerky, but you don't know how. Well, I'm going to show you how to make goose jerky, how to marinate it, and all the whole nine yards. Stay tuned and tap a like on this video, comment some of your recipes, and I'll see you on the video. I've been going far, know that I'm going to take off. I've been working hard, I don't ever take a day off. Always on alarm, hoping that it pay off. Put the money first, I'll be rapping in a hearse. I just really go to work. fucked up some of these pieces but you're gonna want to kind of want them about like that so I clearly don't have enough here because that's how much meat we have and that's how much sauce we have so I was like shit I don't feel like going to the store it's four o'clock in the morning I googled it and they said barbecue sauce is a good uh, substitute it's a little bit sweeter a little bit thicker, but I guess it has the same onion base, so. What? Okay, anyways, you're gonna go ahead and throw your meat in the sack. It's like, put the money in the bag, you know? Bag right here, get it in the bag, a new fresh bag. Go ahead and take your marinade you made in your bowl. Dump the entire bowl in the bag. Without spilling it, like I said, don't do what I do. So once you get your marinade in your bag, get all your air out. So now it's locked tight. Kind of just mix it around in here a little bit. Nice and Gucci. Now you just toss it in the fridge. Leave it in the fridge for two to three days. Three days later. So the marinade's been there for about two days. So we're gonna go get that out of the refrigerator. Before, we're gonna preheat it to 135, the lowest we can put it. 170 is the lowest I can go. I've always liked to go 175. So once you get the oven on 175, it's gonna preheat. You're then gonna get some of these things, they're like wire racks. Get yourself a pan like, like this here. Okay. Tin foil. Inside the pan is tin foil. It helps you can wrap it around the ends. Because this stuff is messy, messy. Take your wire rack. Put your wire over it like this. And pull out the goods. Fun to edit it. Okay. Get your meat out and uh, spread it all around the rack. I hope you guys can see all that. Your, some pieces are gonna be thicker than others, yes. Might, you wanna fix that when you cut your meat. I didn't really cut mine very well. But uh, lay out your strips. Try to get them spaced out apart as far as possible. Like, you don't want them touching. Next, you're gonna take some salt, just basic table salt. You're gonna coat them in salt. Again, after they're already marinated. Take some pepper, basic black pepper. I'm running a little low here, but. Last one. I've always kind of like put a little red pepper on there. Just kind of just casually up and down every individual one. Did you want to do warm or 175? I've always done 175 just because it's a little faster. Um, it'll get the same effect either way. Pop that in the oven. Put it in the oven for six to eight hours. Jerky's done. 
Like I said, there wasn't that much. There was only two breasts, but and I had one piece to see how it was doing midway through. But uh, heck yeah. And shut that off. It's currently 9.30 and I put it in around 2.30. Seven hours to cook the jerky. We have officially made the goose jerky. It is all done. We'll give you guys a little taste test here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you can please, if you guys watched all the way to the end and you find any enjoyment, Hit the subscribe button and tap a like on this video because the more you guys like and comment, the more it really helps me grow. YouTube's starting to hate me, starting to age restrict some of my videos. So if you can tap a like and comment it, it would it would really help out a lot. But yeah, jerky's done. It's the next day. Got all bagged up. There wasn't very much. We only had two breasts, but it is actual jerky, so. I'll see you guys next one. We're going cat hunting. Out here, it's boots to the ground. See the dashboard dust when the speaker's playing loud. Out here, it's a mess. Snap back with some wrangling in them jeans and some Daniels in the jack. Where I'm from, there's smoke in the